In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to factor a trinomial using a method called diamond method along with Xbox method. Here you have a quadratic trinomial in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So when you set up your diamond method, you're going to want to make an x. At the top of the x, you're going to find the product of the a term and the c term. At the bottom of your x, you're going to write the value of the b term. On the left and the right, you're going to try to find two factors that have a product of the number that you wrote in this position, but also have a sum that equals to the b value. After you set up your diamond method, you're going to transition to your xbox method. Create a 2 by 2 box. In the upper left corner, you're going to write down the ax squared term. In the lower right corner, you're going to write down the c term. And in your lower left and the upper right, you're going to write down the two factors that you found. Let's go ahead and try to apply this to a problem. We're trying to factor the trinomial x squared plus 5x plus 6. Set up your diamond method template. Try to think of what the a value times the c value is equal to. I hope you're thinking of 6. Your b value is 5. Now try to think of two factors that multiply to 6 but also have a sum of 5. Hopefully you are thinking of these two factors, 3 and 2. So now let's go to our xbox method. In the upper left corner, you're going to write the a x squared term. For us, it's going to be x squared. In the lower right corner, you write the value of the c term. For us, it will be 6. And then in the lower left and the upper right, you're going to write the two factors. Factor 1 is 3, x, and factor 2 is 2, x. So now what we have here are basically the products of our two binomials that we're trying to figure out. So at the top of this column, try to find a common factor between x squared and 3x. A common factor is x, so you're going to write x at the top. Now, on this first row, x squared and 2x, try to find a common factor between those two. I hope you are thinking x. So now you can see that x times x gives you the product of x squared. So now think x times what will give you 2x? That would be 2. So now you have one binomial, x plus 2. Try to figure out your last term for this binomial. x times what will give you 3x? That would be 3. And also 3 times 2 gives you a product of 6. So all these four terms inside this 2 by 2 box is the product of the binomial x plus 2 and x plus 3. So therefore, in factored form, the answer is written like that. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.